Hi guys, welcome to today's daily devotional. The theme for today is United in Rebellion. It's a question. United in Rebellion? Hmm. Now this is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye from the Reading Christian Church of God. Let's go to the memory verse for today. United in Rebellion is taken from the book of Ephesians 4.13. Ephesians 4.13 which says, Till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the faithfulness of Christ. Ephesians 4.13 hmm. says, till we, I'll repeat that again. Till we, all, see, till we all come in the unity of faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Ephesians 4.13. Now the Bible reading is taken from the book of Genesis 11, 1 to 8. Genesis 11, 1 to 8, which says, And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass, as they journeyed from the east, that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. And they said one to another, Go to, let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone, and slime had they for mortar. And they said, Go to, let us build us a city and a tower, whose top may reach unto heaven. And let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower, which the children of men builded. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language. And this they begin to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. Go to, let us go down, and there confound their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of the earth, and they left off to be of the city. That was how we have our languages now. But... Would they have achieved it? They probably would. That's what the Bible verse is saying. But they were in rebellion, so that wasn't really good. Let's go to the message to see what this is about. Now, any coalition that doesn't have God and His perfect will in its focus is evil. Our memory verse today says, We are only made perfect when we come to the unity of faith, which comes from the knowledge of Jesus Christ. The scriptures is simply saying that when we are called to unite, we must first ask for the purpose of such union. This is because uniting with people blindly could result in untold agony, as we see in the case of Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, and his unholy alliance with the idolatrous Ahab, king of Israel. It was only the mercy of God that spared Jehoshaphat from dying another man's death. The unfortunate thing about an ungodly and rebellious alliance is that it always ends in frustration and shame. Proverbs, sorry, Proverbs, Psalms 2.4 says when people do this, it says, He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh, the Lord shall have them in derision. We see this with the people at Babel in today's Bible reading, they united in rebellion and God confounded their language so they could not understand one another. The record in Psalms 2.2 teaches us several lessons. One is God is always aware of any alliance to rebel against him. The Almighty God will always reveal the evil plans of your enemies in Jesus' name. Amen. Two. God has not only exposed the evil conspiracies, he also does something about them. We see an example in Daniel 6, 7-24, when the princes and presidents in Babylon conspired against Daniel. All those who were united against God's purpose or for your life shall be confounded and their purpose sorry, shall be confounded and their purpose will be defeated in Jesus' name. Amen. Three. When God arises to foil the plans of those who united against him and his people, he leaves them confused and in disarray. 
Your enemies will never be able to agree in their decision to destroy you. In Jesus' name, amen. Do not consent when rebellious people ask you to join them. Beloved, look inward. Are you uniting in any form of rebellion? Now is the time to stop. If you are, if you're not, I congratulate you. May the Lord grant you the grace to never align yourself with rebels. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. We have an action point which says, if the activities of your friends and those you spend time with are not in alignment with the word of God, part ways with them and make new friends amongst genuine children of God. I repeat this especially for the youth. If the activities of your friends and those you spend your time with are not in alignment with the word of God, part ways with them and make new friends amongst genuine children of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord bless the reading and the end of his word. In Jesus' name. Amen.